This is our campsite. Uh, this is in the morning, or a campfire anyway. And uh, I want to show you a couple things. This is the uh, way we heat up water for washing dishes and making our shower water. That five gallon turkey roaster thing will heat up all day long. We'll have a good supply of hot water uh, whenever we need it. Just dip it out and everything is good. We don't use the little faucet though. The faucet is too slow. It's meant for hot oil, not water. Anyway, uh, it works great and we get a fire going. The purpose of the fire is to get a hot bed of coals and you can see a ton of those. Then we use this little coal shovel and scoop out the coals and use them as we need them. I'll cover that in a second. Let me give you a tour of the campsite here. First thing, that is our shower tent. It's a two room tent. One side is for shower. It has an open floor or webbing floor. And the other side has a more solid floor for that's the dry side where you, uh, so the one side you take a shower and the other side you dry off. That is nice. We also have a cassette toilet in there. Then, that is our tent, two room tent. And that's our diesel heater that keeps it going good. If we can get a, uh, a better battery, that'll it'll last all night long. I wanna show you my uh, the thing that we built this time. This is called my chuck box. This is like a chuck wagon box. And it is basically everything you need to do your cooking. Uh, and when I say cooking, I mean, you know, we make biscuits from scratch right here in the chuck box. Everything you need is right there at hand's reach. And it all folds up and it's just good to go. All the utensils over here on this side. Spices. Yes, we have an espresso machine. Coffee and that's brown sugar. The little jars are grape jelly. That's for my daughter. She wants to take some back. Now I did do a little cheating. I pre-mixed um, the dry ingredients for biscuits and pancakes, but we did them from scratch. And over here we've got oh, every all the fixings for oatmeal and grits and pre-portioned all ready to go. And then over here we've got some more utensils and you can pack a whole lot of stuff in here. And this uh, work surface is really nice. That's a pastry mat. Um, makes cleanup real easy. So, coming over here to the fire, I want to show you something. Whoops, I got to back up a little bit. We're going to show you how to make toast at the camp campsite. A lot of people make toast by uh, putting, uh, like they do a hot dog, they put it on a hot dog stick. I don't do that because that makes your toast all smoky. So here's what I do. I've got a trivet and this trivet is, I made that, I just welded it up with a couple old burners for my gas stove and I shovel coals underneath it and then set a piece of bread on there. Now one side will um, get nice and toasty and uh, the problem out here when you're camping is that the butter is hard as a rock. Even after you take it out of your uh, cooler, if it's in the winter time, yeah, it's gonna be, it's just gonna stay hard. So I cut it and put it on there after I flip it. And while it's toasting the other side, it's melting the butter on this side. I'll let you see it when it's done. Okay, the uh, toast is just about half done. Now, remember I told you the butter gets hard as a rock. It's, that's been out of the cooler for quite a while. But look at that toast. That's nicely toasted. Now I just flip it over to do the other side. And while I do it, I carve off some butter for this side. And the heat from toasting the other side will melt the butter. Right there on a camp, at a campsite, you can have perfectly done toast gourmet style. Now when the other side is done uh, toasting, all you gotta do is spread the butter. It's all good. Who says you gotta eat cheap when you go camping? Well, our water's heating for the morning. That's a five gallon 
turkey roaster that we keep on the fire for hot water to wash dishes, to wash us, you name it, we always have hot water. Now, looking around here, hope you don't get dizzy. This is our camp kitchen. It's got just about everything you need to cook anything you want. Right now, we're making coffee. Got the coffee done. That's cowboy coffee. And got sausage all ready. That's just finished. Getting ready to make biscuits and gravy. We'll show you that when we get there. Hope you're hungry. All right, this is going to be a little difficult because uh, obviously what's on the... the menu today is biscuits and gravy. I got the sausage all fried up. Now I'm making the biscuits, but I can't do that and hold the camera at the same time. And my tripod broke. So it's okay, I got another tripod, but it's uh, five hours away at home. Anyway, we're going to make biscuits and gravy. I'll give you snapshots uh, as we get going. Most important thing is uh, there on the right is my cup of coffee. That's second cup. You need that. And uh, the, uh, uh, the sausage is all ground up. And uh, that is the butter that is shaved in, by a grater into the, into the mix. I cheated. I mixed the baking powder, salt, and flour before I left. But that's the butter in there. And uh, we're going to blend it all together and get it ready to cut some biscuits. You don't need an oven to make biscuits. You can do it in a frying pan, a covered pan on the top of the stove, or you can use a, a Dutch oven. And I'll show you how we're going to do it. We're going to try it over the coals. Okay, the butter's all blended into the, to the biscuit mix. Now we're going to add the yogurt. And uh, I don't use water in my biscuits. I use yogurt. Uh, that's you can replace yogurt for uh, buttermilk and making buttermilk biscuits. Uh, that's what we're doing. And uh, this is homemade uh, yogurt. You can look at my other Splanify channel and see how to make that quick as a snap out of a um, instant pot. And uh, easy peasy. Anyway, sure makes for great buttermilk biscuits. Okay. Well, I got this upside down. Hope that changes. Anyway, there's that blob of dough. I get it a little. I keep it a little wet because I'm going to fold it a whole lot to get all those fluffy little layers into your biscuits. So this is part where it gets a little messy on my hands, and I'm not going to hold my camera at the same time. So I'm going to roll it out, fold it, roll it out, fold it, and, and uh, I'll show you when it's time to cut them biscuits. Well, the biscuits are all ready to cut out. But before we do that, we got to let them rest a little bit and I've got to get the coals ready on our Dutch oven. So let's go walk over here to the fire. I'll try to do this so you don't get all dizzy. This is where we're going to cook the biscuits. You can see I've got a, I have a trivet underneath that, that's a lid from a, wood uh, can't you know a wood fired stove you can cook right on those things and that'll buffer the heat so you don't burn the bottoms of the biscuits while you're browning the top and I've been banking a fire to get a whole big bed of coals and that's our heat source this is how you cook over an open fire without having smoke and flames uh, ruin your dinner so we're just gonna cook over the coals they don't smoke all right, there's our biscuits in the uh, Dutch oven. I'm gonna close the lid and add a little heat on top. Okay, our biscuits should be done. It's kind of guesswork when you can't see into the pot, but I'm gonna open it up anyway and we'll see what they look like. Okay, here's the great reveal. Oh, they look perfect. And this, folks, is the way you take your wife camping and stay married. <laughs> These are good biscuits and gravy. That's breakfast. <laughs>